Hi there. I thought I'd show you how to make a homemade suitcase tag out of duct tape. While I was packing my suitcases for my trip to Kenya, I was trying to come up with ideas to get my suitcases to stand out from all other ones because my suitcases are not unique, they're black. I came up with duct tape. I would just go to the store and find a colorful duct tape. But I didn't want to just throw duct tape on my suitcases. That just wouldn't look aesthetically pleasing. So I went on YouTube and found a couple ideas on how to make suitcase tags out of duct tape. The two videos I watched had a couple items that I did not have and I didn't want to go buy. So I didn't copy them entirely and I came up with some of my own ideas. I tried to keep the demonstration as simple as possible, but I also didn't want my suitcase tag to look too trashy. All you need is colorful duct tape and some cheap clear tape, scissors, a pen, and a piece of paper. I cut six pieces of duct tape about four to five inches in length. They don't need to be exact because you would just cut away any extra lengthy strips. You would then layer them on top of each other to create this type of thickness. You will add a strip, turn it over, add another strip, turn it over, and repeat until you have gone through all six duct tape strips. It's actually quite simple and easy. You don't need to be exact. It doesn't need to be perfect because it's duct tape. Any wrinkles that you might see close up, other people will most likely not see. And if you get the type of design on my duct tape, the wrinkles look like it's part of the design. Once you have this sheet here, then you will want to fold the edges that are sticky and cut off the other edges so that you have a nice rectangle. You would then want to fold it in half. Try to align it as best you can, but it doesn't need to be perfect because it's really not noticeable if it's not aligned exactly. Then you will want to try and puncture a hole on the one side so that you can create this type of flip tag. You can use any kind of paper and just cut it so that it fits inside the fold of the duct tape. Then you will use the clear cheap tape and tape over the, the paper onto the duct tape. So we're getting there. Doesn't look too bad, right? For a duct tape tag. You will want to tape the two sides together. And then you want to cut a pretty lengthy duct tape. It will be up to you how lengthy you want it, but, but try to make it lengthy because this is the strap that will hold this tag onto your suitcase. If it's too lengthy, you can always cut it shorter. You will want to secure the strip onto the tag with more duct tape.
after you want to create belt loops onto the tag for the long strip to slide into. To do this, you will need to cut a couple small strips of duct tape, fold them, and secure them onto the tag with more duct tape. Once you're done with that, you slide the long strip into the loops and make sure it's secure. You can always add more duct tape onto the long strip if you fear that it will come loose. There we have it, your homemade duct tape suitcase tag. I'm all packed, I'm vaccinated, which I received five vaccination shots. They include typhoid, Tdap, which is the tetanus shot, polio booster, yellow fever, and rubella. I also have my visa, which Kenya requires to enter the country. I'm ready to go. See you when I get back.